Hi YouTube and welcome. Today we'd like to talk to you about my mouse and keyboard setup for my PS4 and my Xbox One. So without delay, let's get down to business. Here in the background we're looking at the G Tuner Pro version 3.42. This comes this software is used with the Titan One, although I'm using the Cronus Max and I have it updated to the Titan One firmware. Cronus Max and the Titan One Programming is exactly the same, although their serial numbers are different. So, I find that the G Tuner Pro software was better when it came to first person shooters. It just seems to be a little bit more accurate and a little easier to tune. So, here we go to plugins, max aim. This is what you use to set up for the mouse and keyboard. Here we have a look at the controller. And what we have the buttons mapped to. In this case, we have this setup for Overwatch. Now, when it comes down to tuning, we have this menu here smoothness, acceleration, sensitivity, circle test, stick size, dead zone, etc. Here, the smooth, you adjust it to where it gets kind of smooth, but it's just like trade off. It gets kind of spongy the higher you go more responsive the way it is so you have to try and find a nice balance between there acceleration the acceleration comes into play when it comes to gaming on a controller because with a controller to make up for that lack of a mouse it accelerates the movement or the turn at a certain point that way you can react faster or attempt to react faster on here, we are attempting to nullify it. We don't want acceleration at all. We want all our response to come from when we move the mouse. So here you have to try and figure out how to get it to where you don't have that acceleration. So when you move the mouse, it goes faster the faster, you, the faster when you move your mouse at the same speed. So going down from one, the point one three, it pretty much nullifies the uh, acceleration effect on Overwatch. Sensitivity, I prefer my sensitivity a little bit low because I like I need to stick on the target, and I find it easier for me to stick on the target with my sensitivity around thirteen point seven five in Overwatch. The circle test is what you use to start the uh, process of in where your dead zones there are in the game. You start running a circle test, and you start zero on both the X and Y axis. Then you start to gradually increase one of them until the co the crosshairs on the screen start moving, and that's where you find your dead zone for that particular. You move to the next axis and do the exact same. Once you get that done, you set them both to their values that you found that they started moving at, and that's your dead zone. Lock it in, stay the exact same ratio. Then you can move them up for a little faster response time or down for lower response time. Using a 3000 DPI mouse, a 3000 DPI mouse, and this is critical information. You always want your mouse DPI to match what the setting is here. If you have your mouse DPI here set to 3000, and you're running your mouse at 2000 it doesn't work it has to match and that's basically it for my mouse setup a mouse and keyboard setup for my ps4 and xbox one thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe